my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And we are back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Today, we have a new prototype to show you. This is an experimental prototype of a pulse magnetic motor. We built it to experiment with collapsing field energy. It's not perfect. We are not able to balance the rotor perfectly. The rotor weighs about 20 pounds and has eight large coils on it. The stator has eight large permanent magnets attached to it. They're attached to the inside of the aluminum casing. The permanent magnets are six inches long by two inches wide and one inch thick. They're very strong. On one side, we have a small timing wheel inside. The timing can be adjusted from the outside by crossing over the contacts here. The speed of the rotor is slowest here and fastest here. These two contacts here are for the input voltage. The other side of the motor has eight sets of two connections each. Those are to harness the collapsing field energy from each individual coil. Here, we installed an on and off switch. The motor is 12 inches tall by 8 inches wide. And it has 1 inch stainless steel shaft and it weighs 60 pounds. This motor requires DC current to work. We are using AC current. It goes through a transformer, then it steps down to 16 volts AC, then it goes through a rectifier and gets rectified to DC. We use this setup because it gives us a steady output and we can use the watt meter to measure the input power. And also, the transformer has different output coils so we can test the motor at different voltage. The transformer consumes 20 watts of electrical energy of its own. We tested this motor at high speed, but the collapsing field energy was around 500 volts. We burned out half a dozen light bulbs. We adjusted the timing to the second slowest setting. At slower speed, the motor consumes more energy, but at the same time, the collapsing field energy is around 200 volts. We will lighten up some light bulbs. We connected the input power to the motor. We will turn on the motor and set the watt meter to measure input watts. If you remember, the transformer will consume about 20 watts of its own. Combined, we will use around 100 watts of electrical energy. And if you watch the meter, we will connect eight light bulbs, one at a time by using the collapsing field energy of the motor. You will notice that it will not affect the rotation of the shaft or the input power by the meter.
thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way and make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.